Hey, me, Matt here. So I just watched SmackDown. And, um, so here's what happened. Booker T is in the ring in the kickoff of SmackDown with the great Cully, Teddy Long, and Randy Orton. And Dolph Ziggler is on the outside with AJ and Vicky Langston. And they talk about the, uh, the Elimination Chamber. And Dolph Ziggler leaves with Biggie and AJ. And out comes the return of Jack Swagger. Now, here, you know, this, this, is, this is exactly what happened with Wade Barrett. The guy's been away for a few months. And now they come back and there was no lead up. I mean, there was a little bit of lead up with uh, Wade Barrett when he returned, but when he came back, there was really no payoff. And what I mean is, the crowd didn't seem into it. And the same goes with Jack Swagger. He comes in, and there was really no pop. Well, there was mostly booze. And I'm digging the beard, though. Um, it's nice to see Jack Swagger come back, and he's fresh and new. And saying that he's gonna, he's gonna want a shot at the WWE World Championship. So then we have a match with uh, Sin Cara and Rey Mysterio when they defeated Team Hell No, and it was a good match. Uh, it, was kind of a interesting to see how the hometown hero Rey Mysterio was the one that pinned I think it was uh, Daniel Bryan and uh, you know it's it was really cool to see that San Diego zone won and it's rare to see somebody in their hometown get a victory um, very cool indeed. Uh, then we had the great Cully defeat Jinder Mahal. It was a, it was a long time ago that these two were in feuding with each other, and so of course the great Cully won. But it was just really cool to see that this match was actually better than the matches they've had in the past. I think. Uh, and this, at this point, was uh, what really pissed me off, and that um, the WWE Championship, uh, I know, the tag team division is probably gotten a lot better within the past year, but this time something went completely wrong um, because. Team Road Scholars have decided to break up uh, for whatever reason. I don't know. I I I I haven't looked into it, and it sucks really. Because besides Helena and uh, the Mexicans, well, Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara, there's really no take team division. Oh well. There's also uh, primetime players and the Usos. So I guess, in uh, I guess another way to look at it is, you know, if those people were in it a lot, more, you know, if those were in a lot more than you know, teams, world scholars, as good of a take team as they were, you know, that's just the way it is, I guess. And Sheamus defeated Damian Sandow um, by disqualification as due to an interference in the middle of the match between the Shield. Now, I really like the Shield. I think they're an awesome stable. Um, but they're, they haven't really proven themselves. They've had one match since they came to SmackDown and Raw. And all they're really doing is exactly what Karma did when she came in. She basically is, she basically came in with no rhyme or reason, didn't have a match, and that's exactly what's happening here with the Shield. 
Now I'm hoping that they do have a match in the future, um, regardless for what titles or whatnot, because right now they're just attacking. It's just pure anarchy. So, you know, Randy Orton defeated Wade Barrett in a non-title match. Yeah, we haven't seen that one before. Um, is it, I don't. Uh, maybe, uh, I can't remember. Is this the first time that Randy Orton has gone over Wade Barrett? I don't know. It probably has, but, I mean, I hope that's the last time for a while, anyways, that we're going to see this uh, kind of shit. Um, then we had an interview with Wade Barrett where he saw um, Bo Dallas and beat the shit out of him. So... And at least they're still continuing with that feud. Then Jack Swagger, in his return, uh, beat Kofi Kingston. And, uh, yeah, again, he came back. He's rejuvenized. He's fresh. Um, and a great match with Kofi Kingston. There's really nothing to, bad to say here. Uh, then we have uh, Alberto Del Rio, who in the beginning of this show had a, a Singapore cane. I don't know what that was. He was in the parking lot waiting for the big show as to what happened on uh, Monday. Uh, so, eventually the big show came in, came in on off a bus and they were exchanging words and Alberto basically attacked the uh, big show with the cane and they broke a couple vehicles and then I, as I thought the big show took off. Then we had a match, the main event, Dolph Ziggler uh, and Alberto Del Rio and uh, Del Rio won uh, which led to the big show who had um, uh, Ricardo, who was in a neck brace, and he basically just knocked him out, but it was a great show overall. Um, I think there was a lot of, uh, you know, I think it was a lot better anyways than Raw this past Monday, but next week I can't wait to see what Brock Lesnar has to say, uh, and there's a possibility that you know what, maybe Triple H is coming back and they're going to have a match at WrestleMania 29. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but there is a possibility that we're going to have that and maybe another match with The Rock and John Cena. I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't want to see The Rock and John Cena again. Uh, there's a chance that that's going to take place. Um... Stumbling again. Anyways, uh, okay. Bye.